Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 66, and today I will evaluate some algebraic expressions. Here's what we, here's what is given to us. We are told that a equals 2, b equals 1, c equals 0, x equals 5, y equals 3, and z equals 4. Based on this value, we are to evaluate the following expressions. Let's see what we have. You should be doing these things with me. The first one is 4ab, then we have a squared y, then we have 3xz. 4ab 4 times 4 times a which is 2 times b which is 1 so that was very straightforward that's just 8 a squared y a squared a is 2 so it's 2 squared times y which is 3 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 3xy these are so simple in fact that you can do them uh, mentally in your head 3xy 3 3 times x which is 5 times z which is 4 and uh, 3, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 4 is 60. Let's keep on going. 8 b squared y. Let's not do them lower. I don't like writing so low. If I, if I can help it. Let's do the next 4, next 3. 8 b squared y then we have 3 b squared x over 15 let's do these two 8 8 b squared which is just 1 so it's just 1 squared times y which is 3 but well, that's just simple it's 8 times 3 which is 24 that was straightforward 3 well first of all we can cross out this 3 with this 5 that's just nonsense so we have b squared which is 1 squared times x which is 5 over 5 though the recall the answer is just answer is just 1. Answer is just 1. Let's keep on going. That was number 5. Here's number 6. 5b squared y squared over 9. Do them yourself as I said. Times uh, and then we have 2. I'm going to start putting numbers on them so that I don't lose them. 2x times z over 10. This was number 6. Number 6. 5b squared y squared over 9. 5b squared which is 1 squared times y squared which is 3 squared over 9. Well, that 9 right away is going to cancel out with that 3 squared. And 1 squared is just 1 so it's just a 5. 2 times x, 2 times x which is 5 times z which is 4 over 10. Over 10. We see 2 times 5 there and we see 10 here. That's it. The answer is 4. The answer is 4. As I said, they should, these should go very, very fast. Let's do next 2. 10. Number 10. Number 8. 8a squared c. 8a squared c. Number 9. a squared times cy. Do them yourself. As I said, you'll get more out of it that way. 2 times x times z. 2 times x times z. 2 times x which is 5 times z which is 4. Did we just do that here? I think we just did that, number 7. Yeah, we did the bloody thing just now. Number 8. 8 a squared is 2 squared times c. Well, c is a big fat 0. We should have seen that before. c happens to be 0. c is equal to 0. It doesn't matter what this is. Any, anything times 0 is 0. But there is another c right there. And it doesn't matter what a squared, it doesn't matter what y is, it's just going to be a big fat zero. Number 10. Number 10 is 8xy. 
xy, x is 5 times y, which is 3, there you go, 5 times 8 fives are 40 and 40 times 3 is going to be 120. It's going to be 120. 8 fives are 40 and 40 times 3 is 120. Let's keep on going. We are up to 10. Let's put 11 and 12 on the blackboard. Number 11 is 7ab squared over 2. And number 12 is x squared z over 25. Let's see what we can do. 7a which is 2 times b squared which is 1 squared over 2. Well this 2 is going to cancel out with that 2 and this is just a 1 squared, doesn't do anything, it's just 7. x squared which is x squared which is 5, 5 squared is 25 so that's going to cancel out with that and it's just z and z happens to be 4. Let's do the next two. What number was this? 13 and 14. 3a squared z 13 and 14 5px over b times z 5px over b times z 3 3a squared which is 2 squared over z which is 4. Oh there you go. This 4 is going to cancel out with the 2 squared and it's just 3. 5 bxb is 1 times x which is which is 5 over b plus z. b which is 1 plus z which is 4. So b plus z, b plus z is 1 plus 4 which is 5. That's going to knock out this 5 and that's just 1 times 5 which is 5. Let's keep on going. Number 15. 4cy squared over 9 times a squared. And number 16. 3 a squared b over 4 and number 17 x times y times z over a times b. Let's see what we can do. 4 4 4 times c which is 0. Well, there you go. c is equal to 0. It doesn't matter what the rest is. c is 0. It doesn't matter what this is. It, none of this matters. Anything, anything times 0 is 0. It's just going to be big fat 0. As long as we don't have a zero at the bottom, if we get a zero at the bottom, then we got a problem. But we don't have a zero at the bottom. A is not a, a is not zero. A is two. But there is no need to do all this out. It's just four times zero, which is just zero. Three, three, a squared, which is two squared, times b, which is one, over four, and this four is going to knock out with that two squared, and it's just three, because it's just three times one, which is three x which is 5 times y which is 3 times z which is 4 over a which is 2 times b which is 1. So at the bottom we just have 2 times 1 which is just 2. We can take out that 2 with this 4 we end up with 2 here and then we'll have 5 times 2 which is 30. 30 times 3 is going to be uh, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10 times 3 is just going to be 30. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.